Oh, I just played a game on the Raccoon City Police Station. So I guess that's where we're going to be playing our match. Anyways, who... Wesker. We're going against Wesker. So, hello, welcome to my first episode of Game & Talk. So the first story we have about is about a person using AI art to submit in the contest. And the second story we have is about um, a Florida man. I have actually no clue what... So yeah, Florida man saves fish to hopes and not getting arrested. But he actually does get arrested, so... I'm exposed? Oh. First story, Dead by Daylight Twitter user submits AI art to contest? Like, what? So then... Okay, so the story starts off with Twitter user the Pastel Binary recently shared their submission for the Dead by Daylight community art contest. And everything was going great at first until a professional showed up. Like, I'm not even joking, a professional showed up. So the professional AI, AI detector, um, lie and... Excuse me! So I now have a bunch of time to talk since I'm on the hook. Um... So, professional AI detector, Lyan the World, or their code name, Lyanna Del Rey, their opinion on the matter. And they said, quote, this is AI mamas. Due to this backlash, the original artist shared their sketch from, quote, a while ago, featuring this David cosmetic. Again, people were pointing out how this looked traced. This time, a detective, a real detective, named Coco Chanel, aka Fitty Blue. They're French, by the way. They investigated the image, and they were to point out all the irregularities that the photo had. The hair was not naturally painted. Um, everything just looked unnatural, and like, if you looked at it, uh, any other AI art, you would see, oh my god, it looks like AI art. So then after they posted that, with all like the arrows pointing and everything, they deactivated their whole entire account. Why is no one saved me? They deactivated their account. And whether or not that proves to you whether they were actually just lying about not doing AI art, and they were actually were. What is Wesker such? Oh my god. Okay. Um, so now. Bill for the win, I guess. I'm gonna try to take a hit for him, if that's possible. So I might have just killed him. Ooh, I might have just killed myself. No, he actually didn't go for me. So yeah, they deactivated, and then fans were sad, because, you know, David is, like, one of the, the few forgotten survivors now, where they haven't given him barely anything other than a mandatory... It was mandatory, but it was, like, a, a winter cosmetic. And it was for Christmas, so you can't even, like, wear it with that many things. So, and that was the one cosmetic they given him since Pride, him since Pride Month. Last year, they were like, oh my god, he's gay. So then, people were like, maybe this month we can actually give something. And they had a chance to give him something with this contest. And this person was like, really happy, and then they found out that it was AI art. And they were like, I'm so sad. So yeah, that is like, sad. So what do you think? Is, that, is it AI art, or were they just trying to deactivate because they didn't want people yelling at them? So in 2017, an officer was officering, and oh, they okay, don't get like really interrupted again because that was like really rude. And I wonder who the killer is this time. Let me find it. Nemesis. Uh, who even likes Nemesis? Like his design is cool. His uh, zombies are friendly sometimes, but. His poor power is like honestly one of the most boring things this entire game. And why is a zombie not even going for me? Excuse me. I'm gonna kill this. I'm a killer. I'm a killer. I thought for a second I was. Second, last story we have is about a Florida man. So we know Florida men are always known for their wacky stories and everything. And oh my god! So I just had actually a mini earthquake. So Florida men are always subject to weird and wacky stories. We all know that, like, Florida man, blah, 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 blah. But this one is a little heartfelt one. It makes you actually kind of feel bad for the Florida man. So, in 2017, 
an officer was officering around a river, apparently. I guess that's where officers go nowadays to hang out. And he saw this guy named, 37 year old man named Fernando Pentoa. So Fernando, he was can um, net fishing. I don't know what the term is for that, but he was net fishing. And apparently it's illegal to be net fishing in the Indian River. So then the officer is like, rah, 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 rah. You can't do that. That's illegal. I'm going to arrest you. So then he's like, he starts panicking. He starts freaking out. So he throws all of his dead fish back into the river. Because, like, if you don't have any fish, then you can't say I was fishing because there's no proof, right? So then all the fish, they sink. All the fish, they sink. Except for one. One fish. Oh, hey, Leon. You are going to heal me? So all fish sink except for one. And... It's a large snook, and it made its way to the surface. But Fernando had, like, a great idea. If he saves this fish, he won't be arrested. That's, like, the most foolproof plan. Because you're not going to arrest a hero, right? So, he sees this fish that he is trying to save now. And he keeps bumping it, like, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. And then it eventually does wake up. And then it sends away. But the sad part is he still got arrested. Well, but he still got arrested for illegal fishing. And he didn't have any proof. Because all the fish were either already dead. Or he saved a fish. I think the moral of the story is. Don't fish with nets in rivers. Because then you're going to get arrested. This nemesis isn't doing like amazing. But he only has like three hooks I guess. Heal this fang. And then probably after this we're going to get the sprays whatever they're called oh i know it's the um, story um this morning i was trying to make coffee and tea at the exact same time and instead of getting sugar for my tea i got salt and i put salt all up in my coffee and then as i was stirring my spoon around and i took the spoon out i'm like oh let me taste the coffee i just i just ate a full tablespoon of salt it was one of the worst things i've ever tasted so that was fun you know, I feel like Adele, Adele is weird because she exists and like she's the here for one second and then she's not here for the other second. He's going to go after me now and obviously I'm like the best looper in the world so he won't be able to down me. I'm going to run away. I'm going to go to that thing over there. It's a train. I thought this was a plane a few months ago. He's hacking so like obviously I'm not going to win. He's hacking so obviously I'm not going to win. I saw this and I thought it was a plane, so I texted like, where'd the plane go? But then some rude person was like, It's to me, that I don't like a train, that's a train. So I was like, so whenever I see that, I think about how person was yelling at me about how it's a train and not a plane. I think we should just be more friendly to everyone we meet. And I would really love if one person at least came to write to me. Thank you, whoever that is. And that's, is that, is that Bulbasaur? Boba. They're kind of like repaying the favor since I saved them earlier, but. Boba, thank you so much, Boba. Boba, thank you. Thank you. Did you pray today? Did you pray today? Who else hates charms? Because I hate charms so much with a passion. She's really bad. So she died. That's like so crazy. I have- I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I think I'm just dead. So I'm just gonna- yeah, Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for more episodes of Game & Talk. And goodbye, I'm not playing this anymore.